Hi Ryan. G'day, how are you? G'day, good. You want to say something to our audience? Hey, g'day viewers, welcome to Symbio Wildlife Park. Okay, this is Ryan. This is the Symbio Wildlife Park. Today, he will take us to the area of the area. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Okay. Hey, 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 Bowie, these are western blue tongues. Mm. So a lot of our viewers are probably familiar with different types of blue tongues. Yep. The western blue tongues are still quite rare in the hobby. Even in Australia? Right? Even in Australia, ah, yeah. Okay. So they're quite different from the other blue tongues, not only in appearance but also their behaviour. So their tongues are almost a dark blue to a purple colour. Mm. They've got these beautiful patterns along the back there and it's quite differing too. There's a lot of variation. Uh, these are ones that are from a Western Australian locality. So much more contrasting patterns in Western Australia. If you were to find this species in South Australia, the patterns would be a lot more kind of muddied, um, a lot more indistinct. Okay. Now, um, another unusual thing with the Western Blue Tongues is you can keep in a group. Ah, okay. Most people have a bit of difficulty keeping blue tongues together. They yep. tend to be aggressive at yep. times. But I've housed a, uh, a group of Western blue tongues myself for many years and they seem to coexist perfectly fine. Okay. We are going to introduce this one, which is called the Black 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 同埋咧，好得意就係一樣嘢，佢哋咧就可以一個 group， 即係幾條養埋一齊嘅，佢哋就好少話會打交嘅。So Bowie, this is Chomp, our American alligator. Chomp. Chomp. So in Australia, we have two types of crocodiles, but obviously she's an American alligator. Now the best way to tell the difference is alligators, you can see all their teeth from the top jaw. Crocodiles, you can see teeth from the top and bottom jaw. Okay. And also if you were to look at an alligator from above, they've got a uh, almost like a rounder snout, more, uh, more pressure for slamming down on harder items. So turtles, terrapins, they form part of their natural diet. Crocodiles aren't as fussy, they'll take anything from the water's edge or in the water. Um, alligators also, they're much darker than crocodiles. They need to attract heat because they're from colder countries, uh, or at least colder winters. Crocodiles are all found around the equator, so you're going to find crocodiles in Northern Australia, Southern Asia, Northern Africa, that kind of thing. So they need to reflect heat, they're a light brown colour. Mm. Uh, they both have many things in common though. So they both have their eyes and nostrils at the top of the snout. It's almost like a periscope when they need to stalk their prey. Their eyes actually roll deep into the skull to protect their eyes from claws and teeth when they grab their prey. And sharks do that too actually. Yep. Uh, on their back here, suit of armour. So there's a piece of bone of an osteoderm so on each of these scales. So it makes it very difficult for a, a large animal to consume a bait of crocodile or alligator. OK, here is a short dog bite. Just before Ryan told us about the short dog bite and the short dog bite. The short dog bite is not so bad. Usually, the short dog bite is only in the bottom of the bottom. And the short dog bite, like the short dog bite, is out of the bottom. So, you can see the short dog bite is very bad. Usually, the short dog bite is a little bit more bad. Usually, the short dog bite is a little bit more bad. Usually, the short dog bite is a little bit more bad. 食嘅食物唔同啦，比一般嘅嘅鱷魚，一般嘅鱷魚例如鹹水鱷嗰啲咧就乜嘢都食嘅，只要喺前面喐喐下，佢都會嘗試咬佢啦。咁啊，佢就比一般嘅鱷魚黑嘅，顏色上會比一般嘅鱷魚黑啦。因為佢住喺一啲比較凍少少嘅地方度，佢哋需要吸多啲熱。而平時嘅鱷魚咧就住喺啲熱帶地方度嘅，所以反而佢哋係比較啡少少啦。佢哋要佢哋要 refresh 啲熱啊，即係要要誒唔好唔好令到啲熱吸得咁犀利啊，反而佢哋要降温啊。Now, Bowie, yep. you're probably thinking, what am I doing putting this band around its snout? Yep. It's not because I don't trust the alligator, 
Because <laughs> I've seen what you do in your videos, mate, putting your hands in alligators and crocodile snouts. Is there for its protection? <laughs> I see. <笑>然後Ryan就說 Hey Ryan, we got a red tail boa here. That's right, so we've got a red tail boa constrictor here. Now, they're a little bit different from the pythons. Red tail boas are naturally found around Central and South America. They're like uh, predominantly jungle habitat. But you're going to find that boas give birth to live young, whereas pythons lay a clutch of eggs and they wrap around those eggs and they, they shiver to keep them warm. Um, but boas essentially give birth to live young, usually large clutches, and then the babies just have to support themselves. Mm. Now with red-tailed boas, their diet does change throughout their life. When they're small and they're a bit more agile, they're more arboreal. So you're usually going to find them in the vegetation or in the trees. Okay. And they'll pick on things like small birds, lizards, small rodents. But they're not a very long snake, you know. They probably, I think records are about as long as four meters for an adult. Four Still meters. pretty big, but they're more of a chunky, solid animal. Mm. So when they're an adult, their diet changes to suit things that are found on the jungle floor. So things like the larger rodents or primates that might come to the ground, uh, even large water birds. Mm. <笑>他們用蛇就叫做大蝦子蛇 now, Bowie, this is a rough scale python, just like we saw in the reptile house. However, this one was bred here at Symbio. It's a year old, and I guess now you can actually feel the scales. They feel yes, like a pile. Yes, yes, so you can feel they're quite different from handling a carpet python. Um, thankfully, it's not an aggressive uh, specimen, this one. This is what we use a lot for our educational shows. Usually they're bitey, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Especially the wild specimens. Okay. Um, good chance to see up close to those blue eyes I mentioned as well. They've got quite a unique appearance about them. Uh,Ryan,那就好好啦,那先我哋介紹咗呢個Rough Now, Bo, it's not just reptiles we have here in Symbio Wildlife Park. Uh, if the viewers want to come visit, by all means, we've got all sorts of animals here. We've got exotic animals like monkeys and tigers, but we've got gorgeous native animals too, just like this koala here. Yeah. So koalas only eat eucalyptus leaves. That's all their diet consists of. So these leaves here you see Harry eating, that's 100% of his diet. Okay. 
。咁啊嚟到呢個動物園咧，就阿 Ryan 就同我哋講，其實唔係淨係爬蟲嘅咋，仲有老虎啊，有馬騮啊，亦都有呢個樹熊啦。樹熊就好代表澳洲嘅一種動物啦，好得意，好搞笑嘅個樣。咁啊，阿 Ryan 亦都話咧，佢哋就乜都唔食嘅，淨係食呢只尤加利葉。咁<笑> ，so they look sleepy. So how many hours they sleep per day? Yeah, good question. So koalas are notorious for being sleepy, right? So they sleep 18 to 22 hours of the day. Ah. So sometimes they're only awake for two hours of the day. So what they do in the two hours? Eat, 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 eat. They 哋咧成日都好似好眼瞓咁咧。咁其實原來咧呢啲樹熊咧一日最少要瞓十八至二十二個鐘頭嘅。其實佢真正起身食嘢咧係食係兩三個鐘嘅啫。佢哋係咁食嘢係咁食嘢咁樣。Anything else you want to tell about this? Yeah, you know what? They've got very unique hands. So the hand of a koala has two thumbs per hand. Oh. We can see it just here. Two thumbs. Oh. That gives them a better grip when they climb different eucalyptus oh. trees. Okay. And they're the only animals, aside from primates, with fingerprints. Hmm. 原來咧，呢個樹熊咧，我真係唔知嘅呢個。誒講解後，原來先知咧，佢哋一隻手掌入邊咧有兩隻手指公嘅，咁啊係放佢哋誒捉樹嘅時候捉得實啲啦。Thank you, Ryan. My pleasure. Thanks for showing us around this park, and we really enjoy so much. Yeah, not a problem, yeah. mate. Anytime. And this is the, our last stop of the tour. Oh. We are going back tomorrow. Excellent. Maybe I'll have to come visit you. Yeah, yeah. You've got a Hong Kong friend now. Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, mate. Take it easy. 今日咧係我哋最後一次拍節目啦，我哋嚟咗大概六日啦。咁啊，呢個最後呢個動物園，呢、這個動物園好好嘅，佢入邊咧唔淨止有爬蟲啦，佢有好多其他動物，有袋鼠，有誒、呃、樹熊，有好多馬騮啊，連老虎都有。咁當然咧，爬蟲其實都唔少嘅，呢度好多爬蟲俾我哋睇啦。咁啊，離開澳洲嘅朋友，不妨嚟呢度誒誒睇下動物啦。咁我哋翻香港見啦。<笑>